Hello everybody, welcome back to channel. We've got a nice one for you today. It is the Brinkley. This is the 2900. Probably one of the better looking RVs on the road. Let's see what we got for numbers. Gross weight, 14,495. Cargo, 2419. Empty weight of 12,016 pounds. Heavy trailer. Especially for this size, 2900. Now you compare these to the Jayco Eagle or the Grand Design Reflection. These are going to be a good 1,500, 2,000 pounds heavier. So they are just built differently. A little more solid. Check out the front cap. These four white pieces will light up at night. This switch right here. It's pretty cool. Let's see what we got in here. Here's your water connections. Got lights everywhere. You got light strip up across there. Of course your leveling's in here. Nice big storage. Got some sort of rubber flooring here. You have access panels. There's another access panel over there. Pretty neat stuff. And you can tell just by feeling it. It's built different, solid. This stuff won't be moving when you're going down the road. We have Cooper tires and some nice black wheels here. 17.5 inch rims. You got road armor, suspension back there. Very nice. We got the LED lights are pretty cool on this. You got two on each side. You even got backup lights on there. And a trailer hitch. Camera. Got three slides on it. Two of them are very large posing slides. Gives you a huge living space. Two big awnings on it. Got a fairly normal fifth wheel layout, living room, kitchen dining, and then of course stairs up to your bathroom and bedroom. Very nice. Truck sagging a little bit. I don't blame it with 12,000 pounds, but I have pulled a couple of the 3100s and it pulled just fine. Heavy, of course, but 2900. It's got this fancy handrail on it with a magnet on it. Let's pull that out. And there you go. Simple as that. Looks like you got blinds on all the windows. It's got solar panel on it. definitely one of my favorites. I have not pulled a 2900 yet, but we'll we'll see how it does. I think it's going to do just fine. Let's go find out. this Brinkley on the road. Uh, we got the cruise set at 57. We are starting out at 12.2 miles per gallon. It's uh, very impressive for a 12,000 pound trailer. 
I'm guessing we will not hold on to that once we hit the interstate. Uh, it is riding very smoothly. Uh, some of the sometimes you get a shorter fifth wheel. It tends to be a little front heavy. Uh, this one is not. It feels pretty good. So we'll see how it does on the interstate in a few minutes here. All right, everyone. We are on the interstate. Uh, I got the cruise set at 67 and it is holding 11 miles per gallon. I did not expect that. I'm even getting a little crosswind today, so that is very impressive for a 12,000 pound trailer. We're gonna put on about 300 miles today and let's see if it can uh, hold that 11, that would be very nice. We'll find out. made it 300 miles. We averaged 68 miles an hour and we ended up with 10.9 miles per gallon. I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. Especially for a 12,000 pound trailer. Uh, you, you definitely notice the weight but I was never concerned about the weight. It's a very stable, very smooth pulling trailer. So with 12,000 pounds empty, this will easily get over 13,000 when you load it up for a trip. Uh, I would personally use a one-ton truck with this. Uh, single wheel is fine, dually is not necessary. Unless you already have one, then you're good to go. But I definitely like this one. This is one of my favorites. My, one of my favorite fifth wheels. Uh, a little bit heavier than the other ones. Uh, keep that in mind if you're looking at them. But and they're they're not cheap. They are over a hundred thousand. But the quality is definitely there. All right. Thanks everyone for watching the video, and we will see you on the next one.